Well, today I'm going to work on the uh, capitals and the base. So uh, yesterday I had uh, glued up these four pieces of uh, cherry stock here and it has the uh, craft paper in between it so that I can get them apart. And uh, here's a uh, photograph of the base. So they're pretty simple. You've got a cove in here and uh, a couple of beads and a very real small little defining bead there in the middle and then there's a taper that goes down um, there there's a, actually a joint right there so these curves are carved into the uh, the bottom there and then uh, the fluted uh, quarter column is uh, straight so that these uh, will be carved later on when we actually have the fluted quarter columns to match. So that's the uh, base. Here's another larger image of the base. And uh, you can see it's uh, similar or uh, to this one. This, this one here is at the uh, Anthem uh, Worthington Museum and this one here is at Yale uh, so you can see there is a difference uh, between the two and then this is the capital here uh, so very uh, again similar in the in design so uh, this is uh, an inch uh, this way and an inch that way uh, this extra little bit you can actually see the joint there uh, in this enlargement so uh, that extra little bit there is about a quarter inch so we're going to turn that well the first thing is I have to get it round so I got my roughing gauge here and Well, now that I have it to the correct size, we've got to lay out the uh, base that we're going to turn here. So we've got a, a uh, cove in here, you've got a bead here, a fillet, fillet, and another bead, and then a fillet, and then there's a taper down to the uh, seven eighths that uh, the quarter column is. So I've marked it out here. This will be the base, or starting with the base here. And uh, there's your fillet, your cove, another fillet, another bead, the fillet, and then this is the taper down to here. So now uh, we know the pattern is laid out. So with my uh, pencil here, I darkened all the marks for where I want to turn everything so now I can see it. And we'll turn up the speed and then we'll start to to turn the thing.
So now we'll uh, see how we did here. I cut off the uh, part that I had turned and uh, now we have to split it apart here. So we'll be kind of careful. And the craft paper does its job. So if we have one good one, we have four good ones. Well, let's see how it uh, how it matches up. I think it's a little bit small to the um, in here, but we'll put it in the case and see. Well this is a base but we'll pretend it's a, a capital so you can see it and uh, it's a little bit small. Well, I think we'll do it again. It's not bad. Uh, I could probably get away with it. It's about a about a sixteenth of an inch too small. It's uh, it's in there about a thirty-second, maybe a sixteenth. This looks all right here. So um, the dimensions are slightly off. So we need to make it a little bigger. So good practice one. Well, it looks like I finally got them right here. You can see. Uh, the capital on the base obviously without a 34 inch uh, fluted quarter column in it but uh, these uh, will be cut off a little bit so I left them long uh, th these will be cut off uh, all up about here and then of course we have to carve matching flutes into them with the curve on the end and the same goes down here this is probably a little long uh, so it'll be cut off and then the, the, once I make the flute, then, I, then I'll uh, carve in uh, the extra and then the whole thing gets glued in. There, there's a piece of uh, one by one that goes in down here and uh, this sets on it. And so this looks like it's part of the case, this uh, piece of uh, cherry down there. And then this sits here and then likewise up at the top, uh, there's a piece that goes in there. Well, I've got some crafts to do here this morning. So just like the uh, capitals and uh, base that I made, uh, we're gonna make the uh, fluted quarter columns out of this. There's four one inch pieces of cherry here that uh, need to be turned down to seven A's and uh, need to glue it together first. So we cut out our craft paper here and some hide glue and we need a brush, a glue brush. I had it a minute ago. We have a glue brush.
So we're all clamped up here. Uh, all we can do is wait for it to dry and then we'll do some turning. Well, I knocked the corners off of the glued up uh, stock that, I, that you saw me do earlier. So this is somewhat round. There's still flat spots on it and it's bumpy. And uh, so I've got to get it uh, perfectly round at uh, an inch and three quarter so I'm not that good of a uh, turner. So what I thought I'd try was a technique that I saw. We'll put a router bit in here, a half inch, and uh, lower it down there, and then push it along here to get a consistent uh, diameter. So we'll give that a try and see how it works. So now that I've turned it uh, to the appropriate diameter with the uh, router, that uh, worked pretty well. Uh, it seemed to go better in one direction than another. Uh, probably had to do with the way the router bit was turning, but I used a quarter inch uh, router bit and it uh, did leave a rough surface, uh, which the uh, turning wouldn't have uh, left a rough surface. However, my turning over 36 inches would not have been very consistent in, uh, in diameter. So uh, these are reasonably uh, consistent across the 36 inches and so now I'm going to sand it a little bit and then get ready uh, to cut the flutes. We'll see if I can split it apart now. So this is It's coming. and even toured with a rock star all before the age of 18. In other words, she's pretty pretty Well, I got it apart. And um, I got a bit of work here to get the paper and glue off of it. Well, I put the first one in there, the quarter column, and it seems uh, pretty good. So uh, I think we got a winner here. We got to uh, cut them down to size and so forth and fit them in there. But uh, this one's not cut all the way through. And uh, of course, the little one by one squares have to be added to, to come up with a quite right length. They're at 36 inches at the moment. And, but when I'm done, I'm, if I measured correctly, it'll be 34. Well, I'm working on uh, fitting the quarter columns today. So I'm going to zoom in. I've got one of them about right. We'll zoom in here so you can see the detail. So there's the 
filler block on the bottom with the base and you can see uh, where I've got some carving to do which I don't think I'll do until after I glue it up but uh, the, to finish the flutes and round them over there at the bottom then uh, pretty much straight up the side and then there's another quarter column at the top and uh, I'm sorry another ca the capital at the top and then of course the carving there that uh, has got a match and then the filler block to I'm working on the uh, quarter columns today so we'll zoom in here so you can see a little bit of the detail there we go so uh, this piece is uh, glued in down here as well as the uh, base and uh, you can see I carved out the uh, ends of the flutes there as it's supposed to be and then did my best to match them up by carving uh, these pieces in here so that's pretty much uh, it's we're ready to glue in the um, the quarter column itself since those two are um, are glued in so I've got something to push I can push this and get it nice and tight and then uh, this one would go on which is your capital and it was uh, carved as well that piece goes there and we'll zoom in on that one that one's not quite fitted yet as you can see we could get we could get closer on that before I glue it up as well as this piece and you can see it's a little a little proud on the top and that would be just uh, cut off uh, so that I could square off the end so we're going to repeat the process on the other side and then work on the uh, lower case well I finished up the quarter columns today so we can zoom in the top ones are done you zoom in for the little bit of detail so I cleaned them up and uh, matched the uh, flutes as best I could and uh, they'll disappear I think uh, once we get some finish in there and you're gonna go a distance there to get to the bottom of it the uh, ones on the lower chest have just been glued in so I haven't there it goes sir. so these are glued in they're not uh, matched yet I mean they're reasonably matched but uh, I just glued them in so they have to be cleaned up yet you can't see the other one I'm gonna go back to wide so I'm reasonably happy with uh, what we uh, have been able to do with the uh, quarter columns so uh, the next step would be to work on the top molding